Department of Transportation crews are replacing approximately 2,000 feet of burned guardrail along I-90 this month to restore what was destroyed by the Gray Fire. The Washington Department of Transportation says it's necessary to do it now before winter. Peter Choi explains why people in Medical Lake say the replacement of this guardrail actually brings hope to the community. Now take a look at this. The wildfire in August did not only destroy homes, but also signs and fences on the road near Medical Lake. And people who live in this neighborhood tell me they're glad to see the restoration process happening slowly but shortly. Living in the Medical Lake community, Todd Miner says there are still many people in desperate need right now. Uh, we've talked to a lot of neighbors who lost their homes, their RVs, their cars, and so um, we've just been doing as much as we can, as little as it might be. Miner says it's encouraging to hear about the restoration plan for the whole community. Oh, I think it's great that they're restoring it. I mean, those are important safety aspects that we need for our for our highways and roads. So, Washita says the goal is to improve safety for drivers on the road as quickly as possible, especially with burn guardrails. But it burned up a lot of the posts that holds up the steel guardrail. And so as it burned up, it became very brittle when it dried out uh, very quickly. And if a vehicle were to strike that, you know, being able to hold that vehicle to the roadway and keep it from hitting another object going down a ravine, uh, there's a lot of rock formations out there, uh, was a, a big concern. Along with the burn fences, signs and posts, the crews are also removing trees. We've gone back through and identified significantly more that do need to come down because over time they will likely pose a threat to those traveling on the roadway. Overton says the repair project is expected to continue through the end of October. Absolutely glad it's happening, yeah. Yep, all in favor of it. In Medical Lake, Peter Choi, 4 News Now.